Hey, if you're new here, I'm Kanitia and I'm watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Battle Tendency at the moment. And if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. I'm going to watch 13th episode of the first season right now. And in the previous episode, Santana came back to life, awaked from this his slumber. And the name Santana was given to him by Stroheim. We don't really know anything about this stone guy but probably he was some kind of deity and since he comes from kind of ancient Mexico he has to be an Aztec deity and you can see that in his design and I read a bit about Aztec culture and religion and it seems that sacrifice was really important for them it was a way to make the life move on they made a lot of sacrifices and a victim of sacrifice had to impose Personate the god they were being sacrificed for and then the victim would wear a mask that would be a mask of that god so probably Santana made these masks for his victims so they could be sacrificed in this kind of ritual that's why he wouldn't just devour regular people as sacrifices he would need a person to wear this mask and also it explains that baffled me a bit in the first season i couldn't understand like the guy in the slums the one who first wore these masks in the first part of jojo he was kind of crazy he didn't have he didn't look like he was in his right mind right he was more of a mindless zombie but when dia used the mask he became this powerful vampire and then i read about aztecs that um value of a sacrifice was really important so if it was maybe a high standing warrior he would be looked as different as a sacrifice so probably people who are not worthy they become these mindless zombies and people who are worthy they become these vampires but still they are sacrifices for this god for this deity that we call santana right now so that is a pretty interesting thing i'm not sure how this is going to play out <laughs> with santana and will these stone masks come back into play some more people wearing them i'm excited to know excited to see so let's get on with this episode let's go Right, we are going right back to this moment. And yes, that he got it <laughs> immediately what the stone masks were used for. So Santana and Stroheim them i wanted to say no i want to say that georgia and stroheim they're pretty strong so maybe santana um isn't trying to kill them right now because he's like weighing his options maybe <laughs> the, maybe he wants to use stone masks of, on them and then devour them as sacrifices what the hell joseph is doing That was cute, but what was his idea? Does he want to make friends with Santana? <laughs> or does he want to teach him <laughs> some funny words? Because Santana doesn't know our modern language yet. I'm not even sure what language are they using. Is this... Like, Stroheim would use German. Joseph would use English. Santana would use like the old Aztec language and they are in Mexico in modern time so and the anime is Japanese so they are talking in Japanese so it's really confusing what kind of language okay 
let's not dwell on that. I wanted to talk about something else. Yes, I wanted to talk about Santana being in the stone. Like, was he sealed by someone? I'm not sure. Maybe now I think uh, he didn't have enough sacrifices because at some point, maybe after Aztec civilization fell, uh, he ran out of sacrifices and at some point he decided to maybe go to sleep and wait wait for better times but i'm not sure i think it's a weak theory actually it's more likely that he was sealed by someone somehow with all his masks that is very confusing this is a big mystery i hope it's going to be addressed because i'm really curious jojo versus the ultimate life form okay are we going to have fight between joseph and santana right now <laughs> So he was wondering how he would react. Joseph, that's really interesting. He isn't sure should he find Sant. That's true. Santana had the reason to be angry at these people. Damn, <laughs> Spitzbergen is shocked. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so he's trying out Santana to see if he's really a bad guy or not. How would he react? Maybe, yeah, he got mad at these German soldiers just because they captured him and wanted to kill him then after. thought he was just going to go away? Of course, in his time, it was like, what, like 15th century, probably? He didn't have guns, so it's all new for him, but he learns so fast. Yeah, and you were saying he lacks intelligence. No. But still, he needs some time to learn about the modern world. So, this is one thing that makes him a bit weaker and gives us chance to win against him. <laughs> oh, Joseph is still trying to get through to him. <laughs> Santana calls him primitive. Yeah, he he is obviously some kind of deity. Rib blades. And once again, he shows full control of his body. He can also use his ribs. That is crazy. Sparks, I think, from Ripple. He couldn't absorb him because Joseph used Ripple? I think now he's acknowledging that Joseph is not just a simple human, he's something more. There's no blood, it's just kind of like he absorbed this man, now he tries if he can merge with Speedwagon, and Speedwagon is just regular human, so he can, but he cannot merge with Jojo. No? I'm not sure.
probably because Santana is not human. Does he even have blood in himself? I see. He lost his arm just like that? Oh, wait, no, wait, it came back? What is going on? I'm a bit confused about that. <laughs> yeah, they are both kind of stalemate. Ripple isn't working on Santana, but Devouring isn't working on Joseph. Okay, so Ripple helps him, saves him from being absorbed, but it doesn't affect Santana himself. Well, so... <laughs> what are the options? Yeah, I mean, Stroheim, it's you who awakened him, giving him sacrifice. He can hold the knife with his <gasps> foot. What is Santana's body? Since he's not human, it's... It's interesting. But... Now he, he can't devour him if he doesn't use Ripple. But Santana's body, his own body, is like clay or something like that. It's pretty interesting. For the fatherland? What does he want? Does he want to blow it up? For what? That was the plan? He let him absorb himself to use the ripple from the inside? Whoa, that's beautiful. That is just... But see how... No, it does look like human flesh and blood. Okay, his body really confuses me. Really? And how? So... So he's digesting people with all of his body? Of course it wasn't enough, he's a powerful deity. He's on another level than Dio and Straits were. But Joseph is also on another level. So the battle with Straits also served as some kind of training. How does he know? <gasps> so, just as his victims that use the mask, he can be weakened by the sun. But he is not a vampire himself.
yeah, he wants to lead him to the sun and roast him there like a vampire. Yeah, Speedwagon just confirmed that Joseph didn't train with the Ripple. I had this question before. How can you not breathe? You will die if you're not breathing. I wonder why Sun has this effect on him. Because we are still going with the vampire theme. But the Sun was very important, it seems, from what I read in Aztec culture. So. What is this? He made his flesh a What? <laughs> what is this music? Is Stroheim going to do something? Okay, I'm excited. What? He's going to help us. He's getting more and more interesting as a character, actually. So now he's kind of like a temporary ally. He still has these horns that make him more like, yes, a demonic creature. So maybe I was wrong about the deity after all. He's more like a demon. I wonder if this symbol under his eye has any meaning. Yes. <laughs> What? Damn! Stroheim, you are growing in my eyes so damn fast. I was prepared to make sacrifices. <laughs> oh. He is so loyal to his country. Damn. And he's willing to sacrifice his leg so he can reach the door and open the door and hopefully destroy this demon to save his country. <gasps> and Joseph is admitting that he respects Stroheim. Oh, fuck. Oh, how will it affect, was it worth it? Does it turn him into stone? What is going on? He's trying to save himself from sun by hiding in Stroheim's body. What? Like he hid before that in another soldier. So is he going to change Stroheim from the inside? Yes, 
he is affecting Stroheim in very the same way as he affected that soldier. He's starting to feel good, he's starting to love it, to love it and then he's going to go crazy so it affects his mind also and then he's going to turn into a beast what is this he wants to kill himself so santana comes out of his body probably but what is what is this tool he has? Okay. It's is it a grenade? Oh, the destiny film again. No way. There are the Pillar man. Santana isn't the only one. Well, and they found them in Europe. So there are a lot of different deities out there. that are now sleeping in stone. So we have to find another weak point and he has to train. How does Strohaim know so many things about this? Ah, oh, I see. Well, do it then. Hurry. Oh. Wouldn't that explosion affect Joseph? It seems not. He's crying for him! Oh no! That is sweet, but what now? Will it help? Will it do anything? Santana came out and he's kind of turning in, into a stone in the sun. So maybe all these deities were exposed to sun and turned into stone. And they can't really die, they just become stone. others are going to say <laughs> not, are you a cowboy damn Joseph you're so good with your words oh but if he fully becomes stone he will crash Joseph with his weight <gasps> Wait. No, he's crumbling. Wait. Yes, sun turns him to stone. So, yeah, I was right. Sun turns them to stone. So, probably. 
this stone statues they were at some point exposed to the sun and that's how they were sealed but there are many deities so Stroheim said they also found some pillar men in Europe so this particular deity or demon he is inspired by Aztec deities and culture but the other ones that are in Europe, I guess they will have some other inspiration behind them and their designs. So it is going to be interesting. Maybe now we are going back. No, no. Now we are going to Rome to train in Ripple. And then, I guess, but... Oh, the other statues, they are not awakened yet. But someone might awake them. Maybe Stroheim is not the only member of German army, so probably their idea is to awake all of these pillar men. I'm not sure. So how many time do we have here? Do we have a deadline for our training and battle with other stone men? Because it seems it is Joseph's destiny to fight them all and win. Santana just turned into stone. So someone pours blood on him and in darkness he will come to life again probably. Do we crash this stone to get rid of him completely? So this is a big interesting question. I think yeah, that was really interesting because I thought Santana was going to be this huge big villain crazy deity that is going to be the main villain until the very end but now we are done with him and it seems we have a lot of other villains coming up so yeah that is really exciting i love the pacing of this anyway it's so fast it always keeps you on the edge of the seat oh yeah i think that's it for my thoughts for now thank you for watching see ya mm -hmm.